Harry Pass. Chessington. And what are we here for? Uh, the the Zootastic Chicken Chessington World of Adventures Resource event days. <laughs> <laughs> you read that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So here for the Chessington Zoo days. There's, I don't think there's any rides open today. It's just kind of I mean, the zoo. It but. is a bit weird because it doesn't show any other rides except from Croc Drop, which I find a bit weird. No, but I don't think it it's open. open. It won't be open, Darcy. But there's one thing that Darcy's really excited to come and see at Chesterton. What's that? Buster. Buster the goat. She's obsessed with Buster the goat. You've known Buster since you were little, haven't you? So we're gonna go see Buster, hopefully. Have a walk around and we'll take you with us and show you what's here. Yeah, and a bit of an update for close season as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a bit of a walk around. Hopefully we'll see any maintenance that's been done over the close season. It's still going on, in fact. So yeah, good to see you soon. This looks like they swapped the, which one was that called? It wasn't the main stage. Can't remember what the stage was called. But it looks like they swapped it around the other way. Doesn't it? It's hard to see so what's going on. It's the mini stage. <coughs> yeah, they've they've spun it around. Got a look of it. I'm not sure what's going on there. To be fair. But it's definitely different to what it normally is. Have they got the uh, animatronics show on today, Dars? So, what's it show on the? Uh, is there anything of interest on here? Feed talk. But no, a spotter's guide, so you're going to try and spot all the things. Zootastic quiz to answer the questions. Uh, the first letter of each answer gives you a secret word. And then, when you've managed to do it all, you go to the children's zoo to graduate as a Chessington Ranger. Oh no, not the Central Park Rangers. What's that? Elf? Elf, yeah. I love the floor that Chesterton has now put down Ooh, as well. The trail of the king! They're gradually replacing all the floor around Chesterton with this kind of, I'm assuming it's like recycled rubber floor. But yeah, it's quite cool. Little footprints. And we're just about to go into Trail of the Kings to see Darcy's relatives. We're not on the curse, Darcy. Please be aware. I'm dinosaur! Do you remember walking through it in. Uh... The Boxy Halloween song. event, and it it was proper spooky when it was completely oh, yeah, dark. It was dark. Don't go through there. You can actually get into that area that way, can't you? What t-shirt have we got on today, Darcy? Jo Jumanji. Jumanji. The first bit you come to at Trail of the Kings is the gorilla enclosure. But the screen. They're telling about the gorillas, and then over here, got the gorillas. Oh, oh. Right here. oh, cute. That was a dad, that. Bit for tradition. Chris and the is Darcy, you see how long her arms has got over the last couple of months. You're still not quite as long as the gorilla's arms here. No. You got it, Dash. Don't let it go, whatever you do. I'll see you later. I'll come back for you after. You just hold it tight, yeah? Yeah. Meet the keepers. All different keepers that Chester have got. <laughs> Dash is making some weird noises. Got some information about each of the keepers. And what they love the most. Stop doing gorilla impressions. That's one over there. Don't say, what does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. It's an old Chester reference, that, isn't it? <laughs> they look so tired. Um, Asiatic lions. Hi. That noise just come from the lion. He's looking at me like he's saying, hmm, what meat on his bones. Uh, I don't like the way he's looking at me, actually, if I'm honest. <laughs> Oh, Next up, Ringtail Cody. There's two! Where are they? Oh yeah, Which same in the back there. The Wandering around. Two of them, isn't there? Yeah. Weird looking things, the massive tails. Yeah, they look, they look like cats. I, it always looks like they live in trees, but you never actually see them in the trees. Do they actually live in trees? 
I think that's what he says, does it? Just a long tail, I always thought they lived high up in the trees. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Like, uh, South America. Lima, don't we? No, it says Central South America, so in the Amazon. Yeah, kind of. That's it. Yeah, okay. Huh? What does the fox say? It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. There's only two in here. I'm assuming he's one that just got injured in the wild and then they've adopted him to make him better. Because they normally live in the wild, don't they? There's lots of those in this country. Do they? Yeah. There's another one at the back up there, though. Yeah, you just, just about to see him at the back. Has he found the, I think this is the wrap entrance. This is the wrap entrance to her favourite coaster, the vampire. That's scary. <coughs> what is he? I think it's a binturong or something. Oh, he's cool. Look at his face. He's <laughs> cute, isn't he? So, you know, his breakfast stars. What's he got? He's got peppers. Is that Swedes or something? Pumpkins. And melon. Yeah. No. Keep face, it's a bit like a dog. So, we're just making our way out of the Trailer Kings, which brings you out by the sea lion enclosure. Californian sea lions. There they are, Californian sea lions. Where have they gone, Das? Uh, now, so they're going to come around the corner and swoop around here. So, yeah, now. Got a little early morning swim, aren't they? Did you see oh yeah, sorry. The That's the other one. one. Yeah. It's cool they swim. They're like on the tide, don't they? It's just someone doing. It's right around there, but the water's quite dirty. I don't think you'll see much. No, oh, we can just about see them then. Oh yeah, I thought that. It's like it's really cool. The furthest you can see is that like box. Yeah. Well, Santa's that help us. Hello, Mister. Hello, matey. I'm doing one of your shots, Darcy, which is animals' butts. We've got a running joke where Darcy always takes photos and when we look back at them, it's just the butts of animals. You never get the head, do you? Just the butt. There! Jiggling the foot. Like, jiggle, jiggle. Go on, do the impression on the reindeer. Jiggle, jiggle. So we're answered so far. You can do the, uh, you can walk down the uh, Jufari bit again. I can't even see the giraffes, I think. I'm sure I saw that was open somewhere else. What are you doing, Dad? Oh, that random machine's seen better days, isn't it? The insides have fallen out. That's where the, I think it was called Enchanted Hollow event was held, which used to be the old reptile house, I think, at Chessington. It's quite cool, isn't it? You went to Mole Town, show the moles. It's quite a cool little uh, event they put on, wasn't it, that? Yeah, I think it's interesting if they did anything else with it in the summer, if they could do like, yeah. a different thing once. I think they did one for Christmas, didn't they? Yeah. There's one in there the Christmas well. tree. There's one in there, and there's one... Chance have a reindeer eat Christmas trees. Wait, hang on, is that out of its enclosure over there? No. It's just one big enclosure. It looks like it's there's out. one in the staples. There's one at the back. And there's one here. They're shedding their horns this time of the year, that's just that one's only got half a half a horn. Now they grow new ones in space of a year. Nice. Just spotted the elusive apple fries, which we still haven't had. Every time we come to Chesham I thought we always either can't get them because it's sure. Or we just forget. We've still not had any, but Obviously, we're not getting any today because it's closed. I think even the smokehouse is closed today. I think the only places that are open for food are the hot dog place, are they? Hot dogs and pizza, pizza pasta are showing on here. Right, okay. Did you try knocking? Yeah, sure. Nobody there? No. Oh, 
construction work going on. Yeah, they've got a new floor in, haven't they? On those rubber floors. <clears throat> it's like the polishing it does. That's what that machine's doing. It's all quite nice and fresh, that, isn't it? We have to do this bit at some point, though, aren't they? It's going to look a bit rubbish. <laughs> sea suns undergoing winter maintenance as well. Quite a bit of winter maintenance this year. I think they only did it properly like a couple of years ago, but they've actually got rid of the operator car cabin. Looks like they're replacing it. Quite a good ride. One of my favourite rides is Jackson, actually. You get on it and it looks like a kid's ride, but it's actually it's fairly that. intense. It's, no, it's not intense, but it's fun. Yeah, proper brick operator cabin we've got there. Look at it. It's quite cool. Notice that the Ben and Jerry's shop, I don't know whether that's being repainted, but it looks very fresh. Looks like the paint's been done on the front of it. It was looking a bit tired. And as we move into Adventure Point, the carousel is undergoing quite a bit of work. And then behind it is the newly painted walls. What do you think? I quite like them. You actually quite like them? Yeah. You're the one person, Das. Well done. <laughs> I think everybody else has said they hated it, but I don't know. It kind of suits the area. You've got the gift shop. They're testing rattlesnakes. Oh, rattlesnakes testing with a look of it. You can actually walk around there, it's been reopened. Um, we've got the Donut Express over there, you've got a smokehouse on the far side, and you've got Peach and Pasta, which is right on the other side over there. Looks like rattlesnake testing again there. There we are, let's have a lift up. One of the smoothest rides in the UK, isn't it, Dad? I was actually genuinely bruised last time I went on that, yeah. It's not the most fun of rides. That's new, isn't it? A giraffe on the side of... Is it? Yeah, I'm not sure about this new paintwork that they've got going on. I love it, I hate it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a sausage man. The sausage adventure begins here. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I'm not sure. I really like that. That, I don't, I, I think, what I think it looks all right now. It looks all right now. In two years time, when it's all looking a bit faded and rubbish, I don't think it's gonna look great. I think when it's all done, it'll look better though. The other side of the carousel there. They've got 10. Fairly major work on that. I looks like maybe they're repainting it or? There's 10. We can't get into the Mexicano area, which is a bit of a shame. They've put this uh, permanent fence in there now as well. I believe it's permanent. I'm assuming this is just to block off the area for future development, maybe. Who knows? But, considering the park's not open for a, quite a few weeks yet, they are testing Scorpion Express. No, that's Scorpion Express, that's Rattlesnake, well done. The wrong ride. That's Scorpion Express there, which has been doing no testing whatsoever. But yeah, they're definitely testing Rattlesnake. You can see it there. They're testing the one car that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time we go on that, our fast is broken. It's probably, out of all the rides I've been on the last couple of years, that's probably the most painful one I've been on, if I'm honest. First time I went on it, I didn't know where to brace, and it properly hurt. But last time I went on it, it wasn't too bad. See the cars coming along now, there it goes. But yeah, it's not a particularly pleasant ride. Why are you terrified? Because I was messing around with that ride. And the sound came on. And yeah. <laughs> Have we answered all the questions? Not yet. Not yet, so we can't go back there. We can't answer the questions first, don't we, Dad? I know, we've got to tick off these songs. Sue Carla is the third largest species of which animal? There's a rainforest. I've heard that the Room on the Broom video adventure thing is going for this year. We did it a few years ago. It was an alright experience, quite expensive what it was. Yeah. It's not a bad experience. Just going into the amazing tree stop adventure. Darcy, say? Do you really want to know what room we're staying in? Are you allowed to tell them on me? Uh, Which room do you think we're staying in at Chester Hotel? I feel like we're staying most. Mm. It's still really bad fire. So they've got Jumanji, Gruffalo, Monkey Temple, Monkey Temple which I really love Monkey Temple ones. Uh, they've got Oreo and Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Is that the one you want? That's one with the slide in the room, isn't it? Yeah. Which one do you want? Capri 
Yeah, that's what we got. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're excited. You want to stay on that room for ages, don't you? I want to slide. Since you saw the pictures of it. I'm not sure you'll fit in the slide. I'll have to see. I will. Yeah. Is that exciting? Yeah. That's a surprise, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. So, in this enclosure, what do we have? This is skunks, isn't it? Skunks and raccoons. Oh, raccoons, yeah. Mummy loves raccoons, doesn't she? Does she? Yes, yeah, she does, yeah. Does she? Can't see any raccoons or skunks at the moment. This bit's uh, quite busy today. It's not only this many people here. This is the Amazu playground. So, it's like a treetop playground that you can go around. Later on, I think that's so maybe we can go on the, the playground. Yeah, I made up a new song. Did you? Baby monkey riding on the back of a bigger monkey. Okay. That's the raccoon bedroom. Raccoon. Again, can't see any raccoons. Ah, yeah, ah, ah. Right. Oh, yeah, they're at the top up there. Monkey. Can't really see them. The squirrel monkeys. <laughs> What's quite cool about the playground as well is when you go on the playground. When you go on the playground, you can actually see the monkeys, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing up there? It's going behind the theme. It looks suspicious. Oh, they found a gap. <laughs> Whatever it is up there, they're quite interested in it. Maybe it's another monkey. Maybe. Got the yellow naped Amazonian parrots. These are the ones that talk. Oh, he's there, that's it. Do these parrots don't talk quite as much, do they? What are the parrots that live by our house uh, say? Squares. Yeah, so there's a parrot that lives in a local animal park by us. Called Charlie the Parrot, a Green Acres animal park. Bit of a shout out to him. But he's got a bit of a foul mouth, isn't he, Das? Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit of a bottleneck by here, Das, isn't it? They're making everybody go through the Amazu to get down to buy the uh, Tiger Center. It's kind of a one-way system. Not one way, but not much access. <laughs> what are you hugging me? One thing to mention is that when you're a hotel guest, you've got a, your own entrance into the park, but I don't think you can use it at the moment. Not today, are I think when parks... It's selective when they use it, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be selective, but you can wait here to get into the park first thing in the morning, which gives you a bit of a head start sometimes on the other guests. That's right there, does. And there's one down there as well. Oh, yeah. Quite cool, isn't there? I think that one's a baby one there. They always look like they're causing trouble, don't they? Oh! Oh! Ah. <laughs> Hello, mister. That monkey prostitute. Hello, mister. I'm scared of that baller. Hello. I'm scared. The monkey Hello. and the girl. So, we're just walking down to where the giraffes are. And you've got the Azteca Hotel there. And then you've got the original Chester Hotel over there. That's and on the far know. side over there is where they're building the new. We normally stay like in one of them rooms. Yeah, the monkey temple rooms are up there somewhere, aren't they? They have a kind of Wanyama view. The Wanyama village. Yama. There's this area off to the left here where they've got a few animals. They've got the meerkats. That big bird that scares you with the loud noises, can't remember what it's called. Tonight, though, our room is in the Safari Hotel. Is it in the Safari Hotel? Up there somewhere. You haven't seen there for a while, last time no. we stayed in there. I think there was a giraffe or something in the theme room. Like, it, yeah, like a Safari theme room. room. But it wasn't um, a monkey one. Yeah, they've got a range of different theme rooms in the uh, Chester Hotel. They've got Jumanji, they've got yeah. Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Room in a Broom. And then the latest ones are the Oreo and the Capri Sun rooms. We've also are... got animals like lion and giraffe. Yeah, and the monkey temple and stuff like that. <coughs> he's not here, Dad. Maybe he's somewhere else in the park. I'm sure we'll find him at some point. Yeah, they've moved, they've shut this house for some reason, haven't they? Maybe it's damaged. Maybe they're giving him an upgrade, Dad. This area needs a bit of TLC, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like all the uh, things you should do, all the activities are kind of broken. You used to have like a thing where you run and it does your speed. Is it right here somewhere? Yeah, that's not worked for years. That was quite fun though, that wasn't it, Dars? We're going to have a quick walk this way and see whether we can see the animals on the safari. That is a bit sad because we couldn't find Buster the goat. But I'm sure <laughs> he's a freak out there. But uh, he'll be here somewhere, Dars, definitely. Maybe we can ask in the children's zoo when we go back that way. Giraffe? Oh yeah. In fact, I wonder if they've got this way open where you go through Zafari. I think this yeah. is the only way you can. 
Oh, this one's very long. Is this new? Cut. I don't remember these being here before. It looks like a 90s haircut. Like. It looks like mummy when she gets up in the morning. Yeah. Quite funky looking them, aren't they? Yeah. So, Black crowned crane. It's a crane. That's what they are. Can you lift stuff up? Are you like, are you like the rock? Yeah. Like... So this way. We've got the giraffe sneak peeks this way. Basically, the giraffe sneak peek is basically they open a bit of the safari track for you to walk down. And at the end, there's a, basically a gate where the giraffes are, and you can walk right up to the giraffes, which is quite cool. And I think that's where we're heading now. This hill is slippery. Please proceed with caution. I remember having to walk through this pit last time we came. I did. Yeah, there. I did. I was around thinking I could have uh, got somewhere a bit easier to walk up. We are actually now on the Zufari track. <laughs> normally we drive with the Zufari trucks. Can you drive this way? I think you normally come back this way. Isn't that the cave bit in there? I don't know. Landy there. I'm pretty sure they've got the world supply of broken landy, is it? I'm a flamingo. I am hush like a flamingo. Should we go and see Farry, Dad? Yeah, yeah, let's go and see Farry. Oh, it's closed. Oh, wait, look at the clock. <laughs> Those clocks are wrong, Darcy. Do you know how you sell a clock? Clocks need smiley faces. That won't work. Ten to two, smiley face. Not smiley face? Smiley face. If you go to a shop, interesting fact people, if you go to a shop and look at the clocks on the wall, like John Lewis or something, most of them will be set at ten to two because it looks like a smiley face and people are more likely to buy them. But you didn't know that. So, we're taking the back route because this is the only way you can go through to the Forbidden Kingdom. Got the coffee place, which oh, was the, the yeah, that's where the pumpkin patch was during Halloween, wasn't it? That was quite cool. That I was really surprised by that. That's really good theming and stuff. So yeah, we're just going to the Forbidden Kingdom because I think we're going to see tigers, aren't we, Dad? Yeah. Have we genuinely got to walk all the way back around that way to get back to the entrance? I think we have. That's all the map's showing anyway. That's just cut through. That's a bit ridiculous, isn't it, Dad? Oh well, it's quite rough in the sun there. Lovely day today, isn't it? Actually? It's a bit cold, but it's lovely and sunny. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hot. It feels like a heat wave in the middle of summer. It feels like a proper Cheston day. There's not many days where we come to Chesterton and it's raining. We've had a few, but not that many. Yeah, I find it weird that whenever we go to like Oldham Towers and Blackpool, it's like most of the time raining. Well, Staffordshire and Blackpool, it's South West Wales, right? Yeah, and then when we go to Chesterton, Thorpe, and Legoland, we've had some of the hottest Legoland days. Legoland sometimes rains, but Chesterton and Thorpe never Well, we've rains. been to Legoland sometimes and it's been so hot, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're building the main stage again, Dars. They started doing that the other day. They took it down and they're rebuilding it. So yeah, that's the area over there where the main stage is, where they have all the shoes. Wait, are they going to theme it back to what it was? I don't know I'm what they're going to do. Where but it's like all the rocks and stuff. That looks more permanent to me. Compared to what they had last year. Was that like scaffolding last year? I think they're going for the Autumn Tower stage, right? The Autumn Tower stage, huge, isn't it? Really good stage. You've got a crop trot off to the left there. Quite a good drop tower. 
to little ones. Which is your favourite drop tower in the UK, Darcy? About all the drop towers you've been on, actually. Ice that's not a drop tower, that's a shop tower. Ice blast. Is that your favourite one? So which is your favourite drop tower, Laura? <laughs> well, because Apocalypse isn't with us anymore, at the moment it's probably Detonator. Unless yeah. someone comes up with everything. We were very something. lucky when we went to Drayson when we did. We just don't go straight at that often, and the one time we did, we went on Apocalypse. Sadly, we didn't get the photo, but we went on Apocalypse, and then the end of that season, that's how they went. Wait, um, Axe has been like an Alton Towers. My favourite drop tower that I've been on recently, I love Ice Blast, but that's not really a drop tower, it's a shot tower. Yes, it is. But drop at the end. my drop, favourite drop tower was actually the one at Gulliver's Kingdom. Is that right? Gulliver's Valley? Oh, the one where Gulliver's it's Valley. over the hill. But it was over the hill. Yeah, that was really cool. Really enjoyed that. It's oh, quite, quite vicious as well. Hey, we were just discussing because we've just seen that Tomb Blast is getting a fairly decent makeover as well, by the look of it. We've just been discussing that Merlin appears to be spending quite a bit of money this season on yeah. cash sprucing stuff up. Obviously you've got the Sparkle Project at Thought Park, but Cheston's definitely seems to be having more spruce up work than we've seen in previous years when we've come. And same with Towers as well. Towers is looking fresh at the moment. It's going to be a really good year for theme parks. I can't remember how it's called, but there's the, uh, I think it's River Rafts, a little River Rafts ride, which apparently you do get quite wet on, I've heard. But, well, if there's anything like Nick, uh, the uh, Rugrats one, the Blackpool, Nickelodeon Land, do you remember how wet you got on that? Soaking. We got soaking on that, didn't we? Yes. This one just staring it's a bit at me. of a weird combination, isn't it? Like, what are they, giant tortoises and... Oh, says there. <laughs> Sulcata tortoise and capybaras. Oh, look at that one at the back, it looks like yeah. a massive guinea pig. That's what they look like, isn't it? Guinea pigs. It's only the third largest tortoise. Third largest? Yeah. Wait, yeah. so would the largest ever be like that tall? Yeah, and like... probably. Like the ones that they've got the shells that you can go in, which are realistic size. Well, they, they used to have some big tortoises, yeah. didn't they? I don't think they've got them anymore, have they? Yeah. Under the tiger time. best thing about this week because the rides aren't open you don't feel like you have to rush around you can just chill out chill. and to be fair if you haven't been to Chesterton before coming at half terms obviously there's no rides but it's an all right day out there's a lot of animals here and it's a nice place to be that's used to spot the tiger where is it does it's going wow. Oh, it's meat there. Yeah, it's dinner. Ugh. Some bathing does. Just see through there. What rides through there does? Tiger Rock. A yeah, cobra. Let's see if Darcy can get a trivia right. Who makes cobra? Sam oh, What's the model? Disco. That's correct. Well done. Can pop off. Cobra is actually one of my favourite rides in Chester. It's a really good Tampola disco. It's one with the kind of both ends on it, not just going up and down. Oh, you'll dry it out. Have you noticed, Darcy? Fake rocks. Not real. I just noticed peeking his head out at the top of the bridge. Mr. Tiger. He's looking quite well hidden up there, but very conspicuous. Oh, wait, there's a two. There's two. Bit bigger than our cat footprint. 
just seeing the distance over there, you can see the Mandrill Mayhem coaster, the inversion that goes over the entrance, and also Dragon's Fury off into the distance. When you get to the top, you've got to shout, Jumanji! There's the lift hill and the station for Dragon's Fury. I like the way they've painted people onto the side of the uh, maintenance shed there. It's got cool. Oh yeah, they've put the new flooring down. And that's bit, I don't think that was there before, was it? No, no, I think it was done last year. But yeah, not much testing going on around here at the moment. We'll be seeing now. Something like a month that opens now. You broke. What are you doing? No, there's a tiger, that's fine. Not take it. Just spotted a good dad joke. That's just gonna read it for us. How does a tiger greet other animals? I don't know. Please. How does a tiger greet other animals? Pleased to eat you. Ah. That's how the spruce up this year as well, does. The uh, cheap ride, you only go round. Apparently that's a bit of a spruce up. I saw somebody, I think it was chest and buzz. Some pictures. Yeah, so the walk from kind of um, where the tigers are, Tiger Rock, kind of that area, back to the main area. You've got to go all the way through Wanyama. Seems like a bit of a kind of long way around. Don't know why they haven't got another access path the other way. But so we're just trying to keep it free for kind of maintenance and stuff like that for the rides. Spot the raccoons. Raccoons on the move. Oh, I'm about to come out there. It's like, is it warm enough? He's still sitting there. Just still trying to work out whether not to come out or not, isn't he, Dad? It's nice and sunny, but it's quite loud, isn't it? All these people there. That's what I mean, they, they need another path to go to the other area because this bit's so congested. <laughs> Probably a bit more stressful for the animals as well with all the noise. Just going to grab some lunch at the Peace from Panzer, if they've got a the tip. What do you think, Dad? Lunch? It was good. Yeah, so we've just been to Peach and Pasta. My voice is going, by the way, now. I'm talking too much. But yeah, we've just been to Peach and Pasta. It's £30 with Merlin discount for the three of us. No, no, 35 35 sorry. Well, the discount for three of us. It was alright. It, uh, okay. it was okay. That's it. Nothing special. I think last time we went to Pizza and Pasta Island Towers a little bit better. The pizzas are a bit nicer. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Theme park food. So, on to that. Your bags. Darcy's got one of them, haven't you, Dad? That's new, I've not seen that before. That's so detailed. That's cool, isn't it? Looks like your vampire one, isn't it? I've not seen them before, Dad. They probably were here last time, but I just didn't notice. I don't really want to get one because you've, you've basically smash. got everything here. You've got the water bottle. I don't have a water bottle, I have a swollen water bottle. Oh, yeah, you've got a swollen one, which is basically the same, isn't it? Yeah, just you've got different... that, though, the uh, Drekker yeah, Shrine, haven't you? Got... Oh, I'm going to have to film the, uh, the plushy characters again. It's kind of like a really joke, I think. But the rock, apparently. They've done something to the girl. Have they? Yeah. I don't think so. It didn't look like that before. Your mandrills. Got your t-shirts, which Darcy's modelling. You got your standard plushies, charm branded chest and something. Some pillows. More pushies. Mini babies? Yes, they smell. They smell nice. Yes. Unlike you. <laughs> so they've got the uh, branded hoodies, vampire. 
Croc drop. He's Tiger. Chasing Sun. You've got a vampire one already, but it's getting a bit small for you, isn't it, does? So we've got the Chester ones, we've got the uh, Merlin ones, which have got all the logos on the inside, it's quite cool. Chester World Adventures t shirts, more Merlin ones. Merlin long sleeve t shirt. Tiger Rock. The Crop Trot one's quite cool. It's £40 that I'm going to have to get it. So what are you getting, Dad? Well, I do have another one, but it's like way too small for you. Yeah, you've worn it quite a bit to be fair, haven't you? Yeah. So how much is that? £40. £40? Yeah. I didn't think I had that much pocket money. I probably don't. Vampire section. Vampire bubble, yeah. You've got your vampire bear at the top, Dad, so you've already got that one. Vampire Christmas baubles. I need the foot. Bats. And they've got some generic bats and they've got your vampire snow globe down there that you've already got. <laughs> Room on the broom and Gruffalo stuff. <laughs> some of the mugs. It's quite a cool chest to mug actually. Water <laughs> bottles. Coffee cups. <laughs> Key rings. Don't think you've got that one, Dad, sorry. The fluffy vampire one. These are quite cool. We've got all the different uh, rides on them. Croc Trap, Tiger Rock, Scorpion Express, Safari. Some animal ones. Some magnet sets, which are quite cool. Which ones are you going to get, Dad? It's all right. Oh, where are you? There you go. So you got the vampire pin and the crotch drop pin. Quite nice, aren't they? Yeah. Seems to be the trend at the moment of these round pins with the right around the edge. It's quite cool, to be fair. Trophies up there. So Darcy has got something she's wanting for a while that we never got around to buy him. It's one of the uh, Jumanji refill cups. He mainly bought it to go in your merch shelf, didn't he? But nice. I am gonna out of it right now. Yeah, you're not going to drink it in a minute. There's only one, one or two stations open, I think. Yeah. One by the penguin, so we're going to make our way over to there just for that. <laughs> yeah, it's cool to go on your merch shelf, isn't it? First, we're going to go to the sweet shop. Are we? Yeah. It's the sweet shop at Chessington. Got a few different sweets. Pick a mix. Oh, yeah, the floor is looking a bit tired. Candy Foss. The millions. Gummy sushis. Gummy sushis. And the pick and mix. Come out of the sweet shop. Mm. It's all of your day today, isn't it, Dad? Mm. Room on the broom, magical journey ride. Obviously closed today, but. Used to be the old Hocus Pocus Hall ride. Room on a broom is basically a walkthrough. It's quite a good little ride for the little ones. Quite a cool building, this as well. Got the kind of stage in the middle. It's not really a stage, but they do the animal antics show during the summer months there. Not on today, though. So we've reached the refill station. Just gonna get some Coke. And Darcy, she's your Angie go. Show. Touch screen to begin. Press cup against bar for ice. Tap to choose. All buttons pull. Mix more flavours. So we cup underneath. Choose your flavour. Valentine's. Valentine's. Dynamic Geo Vanilla, Solo Bliss Cherry, Friend Fusion Raspberry. Not at all messy, is it? Top on. I got that's going to so sticky. Although well, it is all zero, isn't it? It's not proper coke. It's like proper coke, it's diet coke. Don't think Merlin have full fat coke in any of the Merlin parts now. If I remember rightly. How is it, Dad? It's good. Hmm? Oh, they've changed the entrance, that's why it looks different. He's the other way, doesn't it? He's getting the bottom end and come out there's that. Now oh, you've got double gates right here.
There's no chance the animals are getting out of floor. I can't even find a way in. Should have gone carefully, not slam it. So that's who we just talked to one of the keepers and we and asked about Buster. He's in there. And he's behind somewhere. So he's locked up behind, you can't see him, which is a shame. Just notice there, it's an ass of an ass. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you like that, then he does. Hmm. You can see he's got tiny little horns going on his head, I think. I can hear that. That's a loud cheap noise. If I could name you, I would name you Fudge. Fudge? Yeah, because it's like Fudge. Well, sheep are making a noise, does. I can't actually get Darcy to leave the goat alone. She's still stroking the goat. I think she made a new little friend over there. Digging a hole. Digging a hole, matey. Yeah. You digging a hole? So that is a vermiculated eagle owl. Yeah, that's what you are, but Oh, his head going. Cute, he does. Oh my god, his baby's in its um, pouch thing. Or whatever. No, it's on his leg. Hiding. Hanging onto the tummy. <laughs> oh, oh, look at his little face. <laughs> 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 Amazing tree dog adventure. Let's go see the monkeys. So we're gonna. Nice little slide here, soak in them. Oh, it actually looks like there are some monkeys in there. Let's have a look at that. Is there anything in here? I think it's just like a little home for the monkeys. Anyway, let's go up. Before anyone else comes. Nice, um, nice little stairs here. We're just going up here before anyone else comes so we can record. Right, anyway, I think the monkeys are this way. If we go over there, we should be able to get right over them. So, this is really slippy. I'm not even sure where I should be going here. But, oh, whoa, whoa. Rules of the slide. Only one rider permitted at a time. No running. Anyway, I think we are over the monkeys now. Yeah. If you can see that. There is a monkey down there. Got a stage off to one side. It's not a stage, Daddy. it's eating area. You We're in Penguin Bay. Daddy, 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 now. Hi, little guy. You okay? <laughs> no one's going to see us, are they? Come here, Evan, put on. Morning. Shake. He's in the tail feather shake. Looks like they're doing something just outside, kind of the hall by the sea life. Looks like they're going to put another floor down. Compacted it already to put a floor down. It's now right there for their uh, Easter adventure this upcoming shortly. And we're now going to make our way to the Sea Life Centre that's at Chester Little Adventures, which had a refit last year. Not real tanks, I'd like to scream. And that's a scream. That's a scream. It's cool feet, isn't it? Thank you. 
than the Fiat Centro Chester. And wow, it was busy in there. Really? Really busy and really dark. I don't know whether that's because it's so sunny out here, but you literally couldn't see your way around it. It felt like the power went down or something. Yeah, it was almost, almost a little bit dangerous because yeah. you're kind of stepping over the uneven floor. And yeah. And I, I had to put my hand in front of me and it was like I was searching with my hand to make sure I didn't yeah. bump into it. It definitely seemed dark on it, normally doesn't it? But yeah, it wasn't great in there. I need some staff, I think, to kind of space people out a little bit as we're walking around. But it's a good sea life, but we don't really get to see much of it. Still many people. Anyway. And it was dark. It was dark. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's the otter enclosure. It looks like they might be inside the house at the moment. It does show the house, I just noticed. It doesn't look like there's any otters today, Darcy. Alright, I think we're going to make our way out the park now to the hotel. Events. Zootastic. Zootastic events. And how did you think it was? It was quite busy, busier than what I expected for the amount of park that was open. So some bits were a bit of bottom left. But yeah, I've enjoyed having a look around, seeing what winter maintenance is going on, seeing the animals. We're going to stay in the Capri Sun room at Chesterton Hotel, aren't we? Yeah. Just going to go and check in now. And it has a slide. It's got a slide in the room. Hopefully it's big enough for you to go in. But we'll see. So we might do a room tour video, which will be on our channel shortly. So, like, share, subscribe, and most of all, stay rawsome. Stay rawsome. If you've been watching Coasting with the Joneses, please like, share, subscribe, and most of all, stay awesome.